What's popping guys? Today's video is a little different because I'm doing a voiceover and I wanted to talk about the new update patch that we got in DBD 7.7.0 So I don't even know where to begin with all the issues that this patch brought I had a subscriber comment in my last video that Chucky's camera is glitched and I went to check it out and it really is. I was gonna do a gameplay of Chucky instead of Clown today, but it's unplayable. Like I you it's unwatchable, alright? You could even see right now Leon is glitching. Like I don't know what he's stepping on, and that happens for survivors too. I was playing Survivor. That shit was happening to me all the time and to my friends too who are quitting this game, who are quitting DBD until behavior fixes this issue because it's unplayable. Like they're not, they're glitching in one spot sometimes while in a chase, you know what I mean? Even YouTubers are suggesting not to even play this game right now, like Oddstarva, you know, popular YouTubers. And yeah, it's just, it really sucks. And while we're on the topic about behavior, I don't understand why these big gaming companies have to release these updates and and games before they even polish them. Like it's it's trash, all right? Like why not put a little more effort in testing the game out before you actually release it and not release it and then fix it and then release it again, you know? Seeing how these big companies operate really makes me believe that GTA 6 might be a bust too. But I'm really hoping for the best. I'm really hoping that it won't be trash. I'm saying this because all these rich companies do not care about the consumers. And do not even get me started with all the freaking cheaters and hackers that there is in most of these games like GTA, whatever you think of. The amount of effort that these companies are putting into anti-cheat like really makes me believe like why are we even playing these games? Like why do we even play DBD man? Like the other day I was playing as a survivor and we had this killer that was the unknown and he got us all in less than 45 seconds. He was clearly cheating. He teleported to me like in like a millisecond, teleported to my teammates in another millisecond and then I checked him out and he was a YouTuber! And YouTube does not care about cheaters showing how they're cheating and he really doesn't care himself. He says that if he gets banned he'll just buy a new account for literally a few cents. And that's what most of these people are doing nowadays. And I checked his chat out and a person in his chat said that he was gonna report him and the killer, the cheater, he got so cocky because he was like, report me for what? Like, YouTube does not care if you're cheating on a video game. You could live stream it while you're cheating and you will not get banned. And now, completely off the topic, I wanted to talk about some of these entitled survivors we have in DBD. Like, do not get me started. I play as a survivor more than I play killer off the camera. In my humble opinion, these survivors who are crying and complaining that they're getting tunneled and killed just have a skill issue. They just don't know how to play the game. And it's a big issue because they feel entitled that I should be letting them have fun and I should play by the rules or some shit. Like, nah, killers kill and I'm here to kill. I don't care if it's tunneling, whatever you name it. I don't even know who created this word tunneling. The same survivors who are crying in the after match chats or in my comments are the same people who are gonna try to sabotage, to body block, and to do everything as much as possible to make the killer miserable. But I know most of you watching might have gotten a match where you have a bully squad where all game, they're just sabotaging, flashlighting, and not letting you get somebody on the hook. But when it's a good killer and they, the killer actually puts that pressure on them and gets them, they go and cry in the chat because it didn't go their way and they didn't get a W. So I don't know, I really think, as I said, I think it's a skill issue and most of these people gotta grow up and realize that crying in people's chats after the game is not gonna help them or anybody else. But anyway, me talking and ranting all about this is not gonna help anybody as well. So let's get back in this game. We got three people left, one is on the hook, and I'm gonna hit this and this is gonna go to shit. And we're gonna get this baby girl and get her out the game. 
We missed that one, but it's okay. She's going to a dead end, so she's gonna be dead pretty soon. All right, hold that. Okay, pretty smart. We eat those, baby girl. We eat those. All right, we keep chasing her. They just got the unhook. But I hear my girl moaning in here, so we go for her. Hold that, girl, and hold that. All right, pretty good game. They spend time healing, so we're gonna get our thick booty on that gen down there. So we can check if there's any progress. As clown, you really gotta use these speed bottles if you wanna get to another side on the map to a gen. But this gen had no progress, so we saw baby girl rotating for that save. So we get our thick booty on that side again. It is one gen left, so we gotta make sure we're putting that pressure on these boys and make sure we hit at least one. Oh, I hit a body. I hit the body on the hook, but it's okay. We will chase her and get her out. She drops that pallet. She's patient with it. All right. That blind did not work on me, girl. So she's just dead here. Dead meat. And hold that. All right. And take that entity. She dead. All right. Now we got to throw that speedy bottle so we can inhale it when we're near the gen and see if anybody's here but they just run they pre-run and i'm pretty undetectable right now so we're pretending we don't see this baby girl she didn't know that she did not know that was gonna happen she running up these stairs like it's nothing we throw this bottle on the pallet oops i missed that i didn't mean to do that Let's get down from here and let's go check this gen that was pumping. I know they want it. Oh yeah, they do want it. She greedy little bitch standing here doing it while I'm coming. Our and GT bagging. Oh yeah, she want it. She really want it. And I'm gonna give it to you, baby girl. I'm gonna give it to you. You wait. You wait your turn. I see your teammate. I'm gonna get your teammate down. You watch this, all right? Watch. Pay attention. Oh, oh yes. Hold that. All right, we hit this gen to get nowhere to hide value since we hooked her over here. And we definitely see her. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Get down. Yes, sir. And that's it. Last person on the hook is dead. Well, GG.